it was an actual basketball. It's a fucking head. It straight up is a fucking head he's throwing in there, man. Are you for real? Why, why did I think it was an actual basketball? This is fucking Outlast. Of course it's going to be a fucking head. Oh, I'm out, man. I'm done after that. Oh, I can't do that. He just threw the head at me. Where the fuck did these got? Spoil sport! Oh, ow, ow. You know what? I'm, a, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I don't know where the rest of those guys came from, but we're out. We're going up. Up, up, and away. As my best friend Buzz Lightyear says. Oh, fucking egg on my face. Dude. Like, dude, when you turn around, you see, like, fucking seven people there just staring at you. That's fucked up. <clears throat> I thought this was, like, a happy, fun place. What? 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 Whoa. Okay, he's just running. He's just running. But what's he running from? Usually when people are running from things in this game, it's not good to go that way. But, but we're just... Oh, jeez. Okay, I came through this door like it was nothing. Uh, up the ladder we go. Most horror game that's horrible because of the scary skins, <laughs> scariness. Don't trust them. They'll tell you the most horrible game science, ever. It's not. <laughs> yeah. They were waiting for us what? in this place. I feel like this dude. Billy at least he's got done. pants on. I feel like he's gonna jump, but we ain't gonna hang out with him because he's crazy. Uh, oh. What? What's going on in here, man? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. We ain't sticking around for that door to bust open. We're out. Okay, that door's locked. We are not sticking around for that door to open. We're gonna actually, you know what? We're gonna close this door. We ain't fucking dealing with that shit. Alright, that door is locked. Oh, a radio. <clears throat> oh, are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious right now? Do you not see what's happening in your asylum, my brother? Wailing Park, you couldn't just, couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. But you're really talking now. Do me a favor and die here, Park. Why would this guy give a shit at this point? The whole entire fucking asylum is destroyed. And he just fucking busted up the radio. Oh my, dude. The dude, like, uh, do you not see? Oh. Oh no, it's Chain Man. Oh shit. I I don't I don't have a fancy name for him yet. He's just a dude with the chains right now. I could call him a ghost rider. Oh. Oh. Well, that dude fucked me. That dude fucked me by closing that door. No, okay, we're gonna call him a ghost rider. <laughs> What's up, Ruled Chaos? Boy, what the fuck is this game? This game is Outlast, man. Oh, holy fuck. Yeah, dude, this game is fucking freaky as hell. Actually, I'm not even playing the actual game right now. I am playing uh, the the uh, whistleblower DLC. Dude, the fucking security guy is even fucked up, man. Unless that's just one of the people that stole his clothes. Yeah, dude, this game is... 
Duh, down. Oh, it's father! Oh, remember this from when we were playing the original? It says down the down the something, and there's an arrow that points to go down here. I'm guessing, do I still have to go down there regardless? Well, this is father before he burns himself to death. Okay, so we're going down the hole before... Before... What? What? I feel like... I feel like that guy wants to get down with the sickness. Oh! Such a burn. That wasn't really a burn. That was more pathetic. One of them's coming. It's not even anymore. Really? And you're just gonna lock me out of here? Fuck it, shut him in. Thanks, bro. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, it said down the drain. Alright, thanks, Silver. I couldn't remember exactly what it said. I knew it said down the something. Down the hole, down I don't know. But yeah, down the drain, I remember that now. Oh Chain Man's here. Come on, come on, come on, which way do I go? Oh, we're just going straight. I don't even know if it's right. I'm pretty sure it is. For a dude as big as he is, man, he can sure fucking book it. What random ass loading screen for real right there. Oh my god. God, I love those random ass loading screens. And I don't have my camera up. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> um Um well I'm playing the whistleblower DLC for this game right now. But really what oh wow that was a quick way to reload your batteries. The act the big guy's actual name is Chris Walker. I don't think that's true. <laughs> um the game's about a, what is his name, Mike? The The original game, you're this reporter named not Mike, or Marcus, I can't remember his fucking name. It's, it's such a tiny detail that nobody knows, but S Silver, help me out here. What's his name? Sil Silver will say what his name is in the chat, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you're a reporter, you get an email from the whistleblower, which is the guy that we're playing now, Chris Walker. They get an email from them about this uh, insane asylum and all the experiments and stuff that they are uh, conducting here and and how like crazy shit is and stuff like that. So, uh oh, what's going on in here? So in the first in the in the original game, you you get you pull up to the asylum. And you start like trying to explore it and stuff and seeing what's going on. If you like horror games, it's definitely one to check out because there's no combat in a game other than running and hiding, basically, is what it is. Oh, I want to check something real quick here. I want to make sure that. Um. Uh, do you die in the game? Oh, yeah, you you can die in the game. I've died. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. I was just checking to see if my chat was uh, uploading correctly. Um, yeah. You can you can die in the game. It's not a simulator. I'm, I'm definitely playing through everything. I've died quite a few times in this game. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely not a simulator. You're one of those Murkoff sons of bitches, aren't you? I want to show you something. Blood will out. There are always drains, always wounds. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so the. What's up, Foxy Kelly Ann? How you doing? 
I just turned the power off to what I, to what I don't really remember. I'm a pro at not dying. How you doing, Kelly? Dude, I can't wait for Outlast 2. That stuff's gonna be so good. I can't wait to stream it and be scared shitless again, like I always am. Okay, I turned off the fucking power, but for what? I don't know. The guy's name is Chris Walker. So isn't that what the, our character's name is? Oh, I just got a note for something. Um, I, I don't have any of that stuff set up, Ruled. I would like to figure out a way to get that stuff set up. And uh, thank you for stopping by. I definitely appreciate it. Um, right now, the best thing that you could do, Crystal, I don't know. Crystal's kind of helping me out getting my Twitch and stuff set up. So I'll uh, talk to her about all that cool stuff. Um, but thanks for stopping by. Um, at least, you know, the one thing you can do is definitely hit that follow button. If you like to stream and stuff, because I'm trying to get uh, getting everything set up, per se. This is uh, day three, I think, of me on this channel. So, Oh, Waylon Park. Okay, see, that's why I was getting those. For some reason, I was getting those two two names mixed up. For some reason, I was, when I was hearing Parker, I was thinking that that was my dude's name, even though it is, uh, even though it's Waylon Park. So, I, that's why I was getting confused, Silver. All right. So, I'm going to read this uh, note real quick here. The power is still on electricity. I need to think. Lisa, I thought the power was evidence that some manageable, some human force still controls some part of Mount Massive. Okay, the guy the guy in chains is Chris Walker. You know what? I'm going to call him Christopher Walken. <laughs> That's his name now. Thanks, Ruled. I'm happy, man. I'm glad you uh, are definitely enjoying it and stuff. Um... Trying to get everything, you know, situated with his channel and stuff. And I'm getting, like, new capture cards and new microphones all kind of bought and, and ordered. And I'm going to have a whole entire different setup. And just starting off doing some streams right now. So, but thank you. Definitely appreciate that. Um, okay, but nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive. And even that, not for long. You were always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down, to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule this place. Whatever is keeping electricity flowing is trying to trap me here, and I need to shut it down again. So do I need to go back and shut down the power that I just turned down? Ah, here's a... Uh... All right, then. Oh, what's up? Uh, Katie, how you doing? Oh, dude, I am definitely excited for Outlast 2 for sure. Uh, after I just, it's kind of weird. I've owned Outlast 2 for like two years. Um, I bought it when it first came out on Xbox One. And like I played it once and I streamed it for a little bit. And then for some reason I just stopped playing it. I never got back to it. And so I decided with, uh, with me booting up this channel and everything that I kind of wanted to get back into that game. And uh, definitely play it. And I loved Outlast 1, so I'm definitely excited for Outlast 2. This game is fucking scary as shit. So, actually, the we got a note about the the um, doctor guy, or the Martin guy. What set, ha what set ha headset do I have? I have a uh, Triton. Um, they're, they're just red. They're red Tritons. That's all they are. I don't know if... Uh you can see them. They're just red tritons. Nothing too fancy, nothing too special. <laughs> All right, let's read this note real quick here. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum writing instructions on the wall talking about God tells me not to be afraid. <laughs> Very true. How was I ever part of this inhuman inhuman bullshit greed driven moral genocide the monsters Murkoff ripped from tortured minds the lengths their jack booted business school worms will go to protect it their own men slaughtered i've never prayed in my life lisa but if some small-minded and in interventionist god is listening kill jeremy blair before i die sanity and avarice there's no pain he doesn't deserve there's no radio